Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome, biggity, 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 back, y'all. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, hello. My name is Kelsey, and I'm here for you guys whenever I can be to talk about my VSG and other things. journey and through my videos you're able to find the answers to questions you've been looking for or the path to choosing surgical weight loss is made that much easier so a while back I posted a video about a piece of dough that I made for like pizza night and you guys went crazy about asking me hey can you show us how you make your pizza dough can you show me how you make your pizza dough and I was like oh, I should have recorded it but I didn't do it so I had to wait until we were having pizza night again and I was like this would be a perfect time to show my viewers how I make it now, this is not my recipe. This did come from Wholesome Keto Yum, I believe. I'm gonna tag the website in the description box down below. If you wanna go visit the website to use the recipe for your own or you can follow along with me here. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. This is really simple. I'm gonna go over the ingredients that you will need to be able to make this dough. You're going to need mozzarella cheese. It doesn't matter if it's great value, Sargento, Kraft, whatever your favorite is. We are a frugal family here, so Great value will work. You're gonna need cream cheese. You're going to need garlic powder and oregano. Coconut flour or almond flour. You're also gonna need a rolling pin or something to roll the dough. Wax paper and eggs. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get into the recipe and um, see how we can, you know, Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome, biggity, 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 back, y'all. Hey, you guys, if you are new here, hello. My name is Kelsey, and I am here for you guys every Sunday, every Wednesday, and every day that I possibly can be to talk about my VSG journey and other things. It's my hope that through these videos, you're able to find the answers to questions you've been looking for or the path to choosing surgical weight loss is made that much easier. Well, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Welcome on back to my kitchen. Today, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be making a bariatric and keto-friendly pizza dough. Um, I posted about this in like an Eat With Me video, and I totally forgot to show you guys how I make my pizza dough. We are having a family pizza night tonight, so I figured what better time than the present to show my subbies how I make my dough. Now keep in mind, this is not my recipe. I did find this on the good old World Wide Web, so I have linked the... Um, the website where that you can find that recipe if you need the physical or like the written version or you can follow along with me completely up to you doesn't make me any i just want to share it with you guys so i am going to go over the ingredients that you're going to need really quick they're all jumbled up right here um but nonetheless i'm going to start off you're going to need coconut or almond flour i have coconut flour on hand so that's what i'm going to use i also prefer coconut flour over almond flour you're going to need mozzarella cheese, any brand. It could be Sargento, it could be Kraft, it could be hand shredded from Italy itself if you prefer. Um, but this is just great value because we are a frugal family that believes in saving money. The next, you're going to need some garlic powder and also some oregano. You're going to need two large eggs, cream cheese, wax paper, and a rolling pin. So let's go ahead and get into the recipe. Also, you'll need to preheat your oven to 425 while you are preparing your ingredients. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our, our first ingredient, our main ingredient, um, mozzarella cheese. So you're going to use one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Um, I do recommend using a part skim um, mixture because it tends to melt better. So you'll need a cup and a half of that. All right. Next thing, you are going to add in two tablespoons of cream cheese. This doesn't have to be an exact measure. Um, and they didn't have blocks of cream cheese, so I just got the cream cheese spread. It's still gonna do the same thing. So I put in two heaping tablespoons of cream cheese. And now you are going to take this to your microwave and heat this for 30 second in increments. Some people will do 90, split it in half. I prefer to do 30 second increments because I can kind of keep a guess on what it is. 
Once it finishes, I will come back and show you guys what the consistency you should be looking for is. I'll be right back. So as you're heating it in the microwave, you are gonna want to stir. Don't just heat and not stir. So stir, stir, stir. So our cheese mixture has finished in the microwave. You want it to be like this. You don't want it to be runny, you don't want it to be too melted, and you don't want it to still look shredded. So now we're gonna go in with one, well not with one, but with our eggs. This is two large eggs beaten. I'm gonna pour those in. And then you're gonna add in one third of a cup of almond or coconut flour. And you're going to, if you need to add in a little more, you can add in a little more. Um, the almond and coconut flowers, they tend to be a little, um, they soak up moisture. So just be careful to not over add. So you're gonna mix this until it's all well combined. It is gonna take a little second to get it all combined, but don't worry, it's gonna combine. Like I said, you're going to watch your dough. I can tell that mine needs more. It's definitely very eggy. So I guess one third of, a, third of a cup is kind of dependent upon, you know, how you how your dough flows. Oh no, I forgot to add in. You're gonna add in garlic powder and your oregano to taste. It's not too late. Um, and you don't have to add any salt or anything because the cheese is it's gonna be very oregano-ish. Oh my god. So now that it's reached this point. You're gonna go in with your hand and you're going to knead this like you would a pizza dough. I do recommend taking off all of your jewelry because this can get nasty. My oven is ready. <laughs> it's amazing that cheese and eggs and almond flour or coconut flour can make a dough and it be okay for us as bariatric patients. And also low in carbs, so good for those who are on a keto diet. So you're just gonna continue to knead until you feel like it's no longer sticky. But that coconut flour, it soaks everything up. You're just gonna give it a good knead. So once you have, I feel like it could use a little bit more coconut flour because it's a little bit crumbly. But just be careful, you don't want to overdo it. Oh yeah, that's what it needed. So, you see how that's coming together? And it's not like really falling apart anymore. And that's just because it was too wet. If it's too wet, then it's going to crumble. But if it's too dry, it's also gonna crumble. So you just have to be really careful. Okay. So I think that we're good. So I'm going to wash my hands and set up the area for us to roll our dough out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with freshly washed hands. I have my dough here on a pizza pan and with my hands, and you may need to have them a little damp, so I'm gonna dampen my fingers just a little. And you're gonna mush this out on your pan. I find that this is the easiest way to start because um, it's just easier than to try and roll it. You can kind of get it to where it's going and then you're gonna finish it out with your rolling pin or whatever you have to roll. You can use a cup, a tumbler, whatever. You don't have to have a rolling pin. I'm just extra. I was like, I have to have a rolling pin when I make this pizza dough. So, and I think Walmart had them for like $5. So, okay. So I have this pressed out quite a bit. Um, I, I like to go in and kind of like push my edges together. You know, it's your pizza. Do it how you choose. Do it how, as you may. So now I'm going to take another piece of parchment paper. Let me rest my hands. I'm going to take another piece of parchment paper. Put it on the top of it. Grab your rolling whatever. And you're going to roll this out and it's going to help reach the edge of that pan and 
that pre-like pressing that you did really helps to help it get there evenly. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's the best. Okay, so, and then I go in while it's underneath the parchment paper and just kind of mush it out. Um, I'm just a perfectionist. I like my dough to be to the edge of the pan. Almost there. This doesn't take any time. I think prep time is 20 minutes, if that. Okay. So. All right. So, time for the big reveal. So, this is our pizza dough. We're going to pop this into the oven for 15 minutes or until golden brown. You do want to cook this before you put your toppings on it because it's not like a traditional pizza dough. It's not going to cook like one, um, but it is going to look and taste like one. Um, you do leave it on the parchment paper. Don't take it off of the parchment paper. You want to cook it on the parchment paper. So we're going to go ahead and put this in our oven that is preheated to 425 degrees. And I'll see you in 15 minutes been 15 minutes and our pizza crust is done and um, I did forget one crucial part that I did not tell you and please do not forget this before you put it in the oven make sure to stab it with your fork because if not little bubbles from the cheese are going to pop up on the, the crust and you don't want that so I typically cook mine hang on I gotta get my towel adjusted I typically cook mine to where the edges are nice and golden brown and the bottom looks like that look at that that looks so good doesn't it so you let this cool or not you know who am I you put all your pizza toppings on it and you put it back in the oven the pizza crust isn't gonna burn it's not gonna overcook and it tastes wonderful let me go ahead and try a piece for you guys just because you know because Mm. you don't have to add any salt you don't have to do anything to this because the cheese and the cream cheese has a wonderful wonderful flavor all you do is add in that garlic powder and that oregano if you guys try this recipe and you like it please make sure to tag me on instagram let me know let me see i love it when you guys do that it makes me so happy to know that you guys are using my recipes and you're enjoying them um i can probably eat on this pizza for about a month um <laughs> take it to lunch i eat it for dinner um, and I freeze the rest of it. And I reheat it in my air fryer, reheat it in the microwave. It's still fantastic. The, the crust doesn't get a weird taste. It's really, really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and become a member of my family. I would love to have you here. Also, if you haven't and you would like to, please make sure to join my Facebook group, One Bite at a Time. I would love to have you there, too. It's a safe place to talk about hard things. I love you guys, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.